Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, uh, we're beginning a, a, a walkthrough in the book of Matthew for these next uh, several months for your word for the day. And so I hope you enjoy that. I know we spent uh, most of the year in Psalms and I hope you enjoyed that as well. But we want to bless you and encourage you as you begin each day with God and with us. So I'm kicking this off with Matthew 1, the very beginning, and it starts off, the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And uh, this section, verse 17 in, so all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to the Christ, 14 generations. So uh, have you ever done a DNA test? Have you ever checked out your ancestry, tried to fill out the tree? Uh, do you know your family's history? See, uh, I did a DNA test once. Uh, really, I did it for a sermon illustration because I really don't care about my ancestry. But what I found out was uh, that, uh, you know, we're not from some of the places that my dad had told us we were from. And uh, we're, we don't have any Native American blood like my mom's family had told us we had. And the other thing I found out was that I'm actually related to my brother, so uh, which was discomforting to him, but uh, I appreciated it. So, uh, so today we're, we're walking through Matthew, and it's a genealogy of Jesus' ancestry from Abraham all the way down to him through the line of David, because uh, he was of the, the tribe of Judah, and that's where the Messiah was going to come from, through his stepdad, Joseph. So Matthew covers Jesus from the line of Joseph, even though Jesus wasn't blood-related blood to Joseph. Uh, the Gospel of Luke covers the genealogy of Jesus through Mary, who was also of the tribe of Judah and of the line of David. You can read about that in Luke chapter 3 and see the difference in the families. But through both his mom and his stepdad, Jesus was of the tribe of Judah and of the line of David. And that matters for this reason. First of all, it matters because Jesus is a real, documented, historical person. He's not a myth. He's not a story. He's not something made up to be a character lesson. He is, he is an actual man who was born in Bethlehem uh, sometime around 3 to 6 uh, B.C., the way we measure time now. You say, I thought it was 1 B.C. or 0 B.C. or whatever. And, but, you know, they didn't know how to measure quite as well as we do now. But, you know, he was real. He was actually flesh and blood, walked this earth, died on a cross, documented that he was buried in a tomb, and with over 500 witnesses that he rose from the dead. And a lot of those witnesses gave their lives uh, in defense of the truth of the gospel, the life, death, resurrection of Jesus. So um, I want you to know that you can trust Scripture because it's talking about actual events, especially when you get to the Old Testament, the Gospels, uh, what happened with the church in Acts. All of that's real. So that's the first reason it matters. It also matters because Jesus, in his life, death, and resurrection, fulfilled Old Testament prophecy. As, you, as we go through Matthew, you'll see that the prophets are quoted. Uh, the Old Testament is quoted. If you read the whole New Testament, you'll see that, that, that the uh, Old Testament is quoted over and over and over again about prophecies of Jesus that he fulfilled. So it matters. The lineage matters because it was prophecy fulfilled. So as we begin this study of Jesus, of Matthew, of walking through his life, death, and resurrection, here's the reality. I'm telling you that Jesus is real. But what I really want to know is, is Jesus real to you? Is he your Messiah? Because I know he is the Messiah. I hope that blesses you and I'm praying that you have a great day.